This video is still on representation theory and we are still doing some reviewing on linear algebra. In the previous video we saw the how handy orthonormal bases uh, are uh, if we are in an inner product space. Okay, in this video we are going to prove this proposition. So let V be a inner product space and W a subspace of V. Then there is a direct sum decomposition. V equals W direct sum the um, orthogonal complement. So this is the orthogonal complement. Okay, um, so if we have a subspace of a space, then it's quite easy to, with that subspace and this orthogonal, to get a direct sum. Uh, we are going to prove uh, this. Um, yes, we can prove this. So to start, um, first we see that if W is in the intersection of the subspace with this orthogonal, com orthogonal complement, if an element W is here, okay, that implies that the inner product is zero. And you can check the previous videos. Oh, this is a well-known fact that that implies that uh, the element is zero. Okay, so the the intersection of a subspace with is um, orthogonal complement will be only the element, the set with the element zero. Okay, now we pick a vector v in the vector space v. And let us say that um, b, I call it b, uh, is a orthonormal, this is important, this one is a ortho normal basis okay for the for the subspace w or for the space w okay so we put a v hat and um, we write v hat i'm calling this hat okay v uh, v hat we write it with the inner product so it will be we are going to use this vector v v times e1 component from the orthonormal basis we multiply this one by e1 plus etc plus v always v this is the, the typical inner product times em Oh, um, one sec. If this is M, this has to be M2. Okay, yes. Because the dimension will be the same, of course. So V times the last one, M, multiplication by EM. Okay, so we are writing this vector, V hat, with the inner product. And now we pick let us call it a third element. Let's call it Z. But Z will be V, this vector in the vector space, minus V hat, this one in the subspace. Okay, W is the subspace, right? Right, okay. So Z is V minus V hat in the subspace. So, Yes, v hat is in the same space. Okay, now we claim that z, this one, is in the orthogonal, orthogonal 
complement of W. We claim that Z is in the orthogonal complement of W. Okay, in order to prove that Z is in the orthogonal complement of the subspace, we just need to prove that the inner product of Z times EI, so we only need to prove that Z inner product by EI, this E's here, E1, E2, EM, equals zero for I uh, va um, variating in 1, 2, till M, like here. Okay? So let us compute this and see what we get. So computing this would be computing the inner products of V E i since z is v minus v hat minus the inner product of v hat by e i right okay so but v and v bar will be the same this v and this v bar is the same so we can write it this way inner product with V and EI minus inner product V and EI and this is zero. Why is that? Because this basis here is an orthonormal set and V so we can write V as V bar plus Z, right? We just add v bar on both both sides, okay? So so since this is true, it implies that v the space is equal. So any vector v in the space because v is in this space here, any vector will be. So we can write the the, the space as a direct sum of w plus is its orthogonal uh, complement, okay? Uh, and this completes the proof.